How's it going, everybody? Long time no see. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the weekend. I know I am. Uh, before we get the video started, make sure you hit the thumbs up, like the video, uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And let's jump into this one. So these are also based on my personal experiences also. So, but one thing I learned is to, you gotta, you gotta avoid closed-minded people as much as you can. You know, whether they're relatives or neighbors that, you know, whoever else. Or, you know, even associates. <clears throat> you know, when you're trying to do things or when you're trying to get played, you're going to encounter closed-minded people, you know. A lot of these people might be your family members. And you know what I, you know what I can't stand is you tell people ideas or whatever, or, or, you know, they tell you, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. You you know you know why they tell you, you can't be because they can't you know don't don't listen to them they you know all that negative stuff if you got something set in your mind you want to do or you want to accomplish you know push push full form to that you know don't listen to these and negative people saying what you can't do because you know why they try to talk you out of doing what you're doing because. They mad because they don't think they're far. See what I'm saying? It's like I got relatives of mine. I tell them, oh, so-and-so, or oh, they moved to uh, Atlanta or whatever. They moved to the islands or whatever. You know, they tell me, oh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why, you know, they, why in the hell they moved oh, that far. What, what's over there? And like I said, they say stuff like, oh, it ain't no job, though, this stuff like that. But one thing you got to know is, see, they don't, they only think, their mind only goes as far as that neighborhood ends. So they scared to even venture out their own neighborhood. You know, a lot of these, lot of these people like that. All they do is stay in their, their hood. You know, they don't even venture out nowhere. I mean, some of these people, all they know is D.C., Maryland, Virginia. They don't know nothing else. They don't know. They don't know nothing about outside of the DMV. And it, it's sad. They don't. Know, they don't even know how, how life is outside their own hood because their mind do not think that far. That's how you gotta think. That's how you gotta. Uh, un, what you gotta understand about these closed-minded people. See, if you open-minded, you gotta. You can't listen to these pe uh, closed-minded people because. They will have you thinking negative just like them and thinking that you can't do this and that when you when you can do this and that. People try to trick you into believing that you're nothing. And that's why these same people, they, they've been stuck where they at for years and they still, their life still ain't progressing because they're not trying to venture out of the comfort zone. And see, like I said, you you uh you talk to uh you talk to family or other people about moving somewhere else or start fresh. A lot of them gonna be against it. They gonna be against it because, like I said, they don't they don't see no no further than where they at. So that's what you gotta understand. See, if you're trying to get somewhere, see some you gotta look at look at the uh, successful people. And even Nino Brown said this. He said he had to move away to make, you know, he had to move, move away uh, and relocate to make millions. Because he said, uh, just like he said, you'll be old and gray if you think your hometown won't show you love. You know, you'll be old and gray waiting on that because the people that surround you, majority of them, they, they don't want to see you come up. 
You know, they don't want to see you rich or successful because they not they not them things. So they don't they don't want to see you come up like that. That's what you gotta look at. Look at look at all these uh, other success stories like successful rappers or uh, other people like they're successful. Majority of them moved out of their hometown because <laughs> where they know you at, you know that that like I said, that's where they wanna. They don't want you to come up like that where they know you at. You know where you where you grew up at or where you was born at or where you live in there. They don't want you to come up. Well, like I said, if you, like I said, they not going, like I said, when you, uh, your hometown, basically, they going, that's going to breed hate. That success going to bring hate. And they don't like that. If you be successful, you come back where you live at, <laughs> that's why a lot of these people, some of them get killed when they become successful when they come back to the hood because they on hood don't want that. They, the, uh, people there, they ain't getting nowhere. So you get somewhere, you get rich successful. They don't want to see that. So what they do, they gonna try to hurt you or, or try to kill you. You know when they see you again. That's how some some people think. They can't stand to see nobody make it, especially if they ain't make it. And y'all, like I said, y'all grew up together, stuff like that. They can't. They can't stand the fact that. They still in the same neighborhood and you venture out, you moved out somewhere and you made it. You know, you you made it with your dreams, with your goals. And they ain't they ain't make it with none of their goals because they ain't had none. They was too busy trying to talk you out of yours. So they mad because you went, you know, for you know, you went straight on your goals. That's how it be. And like I said, family associates, I mean be the same way. I mean they it's, they gonna hate, you know, they gonna hate when you, like I had said, had that success. They gonna hate it. It's gonna burn them up inside. That's why I tell y'all, avoid closed-minded people at all costs because you will end up, you will end up doing nothing just like they doing because the way they think. So you gotta pay attention to, to, to mindset. You got like I said, it's all it's all the mindset. You got you you gotta put in your own mind that you can do what you're trying to set out to do. See if you don't believe in yourself, how you expect anybody else to believe in you? You know. You gotta believe in yourself first. You got your plan, you know, you're on the right track. Put that put that work in, but like I said, you can't you can't rush the process. You gotta trust the process. Yeah. Like I said, them closed-minded people, y'all gotta walk somewhere else and let them talk to the wall and keep on working on your plans and your goals, you know, your dreams. You know, keep working on your future. You know, you can do it. If you listen to what these people say, <laughs> you won't be just like them. It'll be 20 years later and they still in the same predicament, still in the same neighborhood. Ain't doing nothing. They doing the same stuff. That's that's how they're going to be in the, you know, in the future because they're, they're what? Their mindset. A lot of you not, a lot of times you're not getting away because of how you think, your mindset, how your mind works. And see, just like venturing out, starting off fresh somewhere. Some, you know, you'll be surprised at what opportunities await you in a new environment. Because you gotta look at it like this: sometimes it's not your job. Sometimes it's, it's your environment. Sometimes you gotta change the circle, change the people who you have around you. Because sometimes that plays a big role in you making it or not too. You have number negativity in your circle, then you you gonna be the next one. You gonna be negative just like them. It's gonna rub off on you. That's just how that go. You are the company that you keep. Keep that in mind. But sometimes, like I said, it, you know, 
you got to change your whole environment sometimes. Sometimes you got to move somewhere else and start all fresh. And like I, like I, tell, I tell anybody, everybody cannot go with you. That, that's the thing about that's the thing about you having a vision. You got a vision. See, every, anybody that's not seeing your vision, they can't go with you. You know, when when you pursue what you set out to do, you can't take them with you because they gonna help. They gonna help uh, destroy you if you take them with you. If they not positive against your goals and your dreams or what you want to do. You know they got they gotta go, and that includes in anybody from family, associates, uh, so called friends, even your lover. Your lover could the person you sleeping with. You can be sleeping with the enemy and not even know. <laughs> you ain't know it, did you? Now don't count don't count nobody out. Don't put nothing past nobody because <laughs> you'd be surprised <laughs> who the enemy is and who the enemy is not. You'd be surprised at them things. These things I think about more nowadays because, I mean, it serves. When you're trying to get places, like they say, toxic is toxic. No matter who it is, a toxic your life, they got to go. You got to cut, cut them off. And forget all that saying, oh, we was cool, you know, forget all that saying, oh, this my brother or this my sister, uh, Oh, this is my mother or father. I, I can never cut them off. You know, like like I said, that, that ain't nothing but excuse. Anybody that's toxic in your life, you allow them to stay in your life. You know, you they them being toxic, that's gonna mess your life up. A lot of people wonder why they stressed out or depressed because they got they, they leaving these toxic people in their life. You know. They should have been had out of their life. That's what you gotta look at. That's another thing uh, when it comes to pursuing your dreams and goals, or you know your your purpose. When you walk in your path, you gotta leave that dead weight behind. You know that uh, you gotta leave them leeches behind. People that just want something from you, and they don't want you. You know, leave all the people behind because they gonna mean you no good in the long run. And you'll see what I'm talking about. They not seeing, they not seeing your vision. Y'all not seeing eye to eye. They not inspiring you to pursue your what you want to do. Your, they not pursuing you to. Uh, they not, they not, uh, they not influence you to to run towards your passions. Then you know they they shouldn't be around. You got to keep some good motivation uh, in your circle. That's important too. Even if it's your wife or your husband, I mean, they should be some of your biggest fans. You, you know, your your husband should be your your biggest fan. Your wife should be your biggest fan. You know, what you set out to do, they should be okay applauding you. You know, they should be giving you ideas. Or even if it's a good associate. I mean, you know, you know y'all can bounce ideas off each other. But keep a good number of open-minded people around you because that's going to play a big role in whether you make it or not. I mean, unless you close-minded like them. See, open-minded people, close-minded people don't go together. But I mean, if you close minded like them, I mean, hey, you know, you you can be be with them. But see, I'm I'm open minded. I like having great minds around me to bounce. We can bounce ideas off each other, like business ideas or anything else. Because, like, like I said, you t you talk about anything out of anything uh, out of the radius of these people's neighborhoods like a foreign language to them. It's like they don't, they be like, what? They be like, go there for what? I'm going to be here forever. 
<laughs> you know, they be talking about where they living, they going to be there forever. And, and I'm like, if that's what you choose to do, so be it. But, you know, don't try to talk somebody out of venturing out and exploring because it's a lot, that's like I tell anybody, it's a lot to explore in the world other than your neighborhood and the hood or what you used to every day. You know, it's people, it's people going across the world, people on yachts and all that. And you got some people, they don't want to, <laughs> you talk to that stuff, you talk that stuff, you know, to these closed-minded people, they don't want to hear that. If it's not their regular, regular everyday uh, routine, they don't want to hear it. Like I said, you know, for all y'all open-minded people that's viewing this, you know, don't be afraid to explore. I mean, always be aware. Always be aware of your surroundings, but don't, you know, don't be afraid to explore. You know, explore the world because it's a lot out there to, you know, to see and you, you can explore. But having a, uh, Having a closed-minded, closed-minded mindset, it's not, it's not going to help. And then you mess around, be 70, 80, 90 years old, talking about, oh, what you should have did, or what you should have went, you know, when you had a chance when you was, when you was young. You know, do stuff while you can do it, because one day you ain't going to be able to do it. That's all I can tell y'all. Like I said, once again, if you're open-minded, you know, stay open-minded and don't let these closed-minded people, don't let, don't let that negative talk or that negative uh, actions, don't let, don't let that stop you. You know, you, you want to accomplish some or you want to achieve some, you know, it's, it's, it's up to you. Hell with uh hell with this and that person saying because nine out of ten they telling you can't <laughs> you know they they telling you can't but like I said you gotta put in your mind that you can that's what you gotta put in your mind I said where where there's a will there's a way. God bless all y'all. I had fun on this video <laughs> talking about a certain topic I get real deep on, but this one of them. Uh, you know, God bless all y'all. I uh, appreciate it. Well, view this. Uh, like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you didn't already. Uh, subscribe to my channel uh, ASAP. If you haven't already, uh, spread the word. Uh, tell people about the channel. And uh, you can comment down below if you want. Uh, I got me a Patreon that I just launched uh, a while back. So I'll put the link to the description in that if y'all want to check that out. Uh, feel free. Um, that's about it. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully y'all uh, uh, took a, jotted down a couple notes. And I'll see you on the next one.